just one of several victims of South Africa's xenophobic violence. These pictures, though, will ensure Emmanuel Sitole won't be forgotten. This is where Mozambican Emmanuel Sitolo was attacked and stabbed, and as he fell to the floor, he pleaded for mercy. No one around here intervened, and he had to be helped by journalists and taken to hospital, where he would later die from his wounds. People who knew Emmanuel Sitole can't come to terms with such frenzied and pointless killing. I feel very sad because my brother died for nothing, and I will never see him again. The way he died is very sad, as he never did anything wrong. The people just came after him, then took his staff and didn't want to pay. It is very sad. He was a very good man. He didn't speak much and was a very quiet man. He was only selling his things here, together with his brother-in-law. And many who didn't know Sitole are angry. The vast majority of people in Alex are decent, hardworking and tolerant. And the murder in their midst spurred some to act. As a community we see the pictures and then we gather and then after that we find the perpetrators. And then I would like the community to say I'm thankful for that. And then we must stand together again to find those other people that are still on the run. I can be happy for that. Let's stand together and fight these crimes. Police are saying little for now. The suspects are being held at this police station. They're due in court on Tuesday. Julie Shire, CCTV, Johannesburg, South Africa.